Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Leslie and today we're in my craft room to do a uh, weekly budget check-in for my cash spending. I did finally paint these nails. It needs to be cleaned up around but you know I do the best I can. <laughs> ah, and I just touched it. Did I mess it up? No. So what I used was um, Essie's Quick Dry Express to Impress number 310. And it's this green color. And I'm trying not to touch my nails and mess them up. Like I said, I'm a spaz. I don't wait long enough. Um, and I didn't use my dryer because that needs batteries and I wanted to do my nails right now couldn't wait <laughs> anyway uh, then I went in with um, I did three coats of the green let that dry in between then I did two top coats of this matte gel uh, matte Sally Hansen miracle gel matte easy step two or no step two 102 matte top color Don't know if that's focusing, can't see. All right. I don't know that they're dry 100%, but I just wanted to go in and balance out my cash spending for the week. Um, it is actually Monday here. This video will go up Saturday, but I've pretty much spent all of my... Um, grocery money and my dining out money. I spent most of it and I bought all groceries with it. I had to replace my Activia. Let me get to this thing that I'm trying to get to here. All right, groceries. Uh, I haven't even updated any of my trackers. I thought I had. All right, so at, at work, I had to get more Activia, more of my holy guacamole, more of my wheat bread. So this afternoon at work, I decided at lunchtime to go get the wheat bread, some peanut butter and jelly, some um, low carb, high fiber popcorn, and some granola bars. And for lunches, I can have peanut butter and jelly and the high fiber uh popcorn and a granola bar if I choose. For breakfast, I want to be able to have my whole wheat toast with the guacamole and the egg bite on top of it because that is the most delicious thing you have ever put in your mouth. And so I can have that one day for breakfast or I can have a banana because I got five green bananas. So I can have a banana each day this week and a yogurt for breakfast, but I have options. I also went and got a bag of the uh, sliced grilled chicken that you've seen me get. I got that for dinner, so I can either have chicken or the beef hamburgers for the next, you know, 10 days, 10 to 12 days, whatever it is, till I get paid. Um, so, we need to, I'm going to go through and update this and get this all updated because do you want to see that? I don't know that you want to see the, all that. Um, but maybe some of you like it, unless you tell me. I don't know. So we're going for it. Um, Four twenty-six, twenty-four. 24. We made a deposit. And you see I always write very messy because it corrects itself. We made a deposit into groceries of plus 30. So we had a balance of $30. Okay. 
Then for, uh, did I do gas? No. Four, twenty-six, twenty-four. I don't know why it keeps adding that space. Deposit. Plus forty-five. Gives us a balance of $45. Okay. Then in dining out, um, oh, this is not right. Delete. Four twenty six twenty four. All right, and then we deposited on four twenty six twenty four, which was really the twenty seventh. But as long as I had the pay date or the Saturday after, I know what I'm doing. Uh, deposit. Plus thirty, and then we have a total of thirty dollars. Then we come down to shopping and four twenty six twenty four random. Spacing deposit plus twenty is twenty dollars. And buffer got ten as usual. Four twenty six twenty four. Deposit. Plus, uh, nope, that's not right. Plus ten. Ten dollars. All right. Gasoline, I have done nothing. Let's first go through and get all of the receipts out and get all of the cash out. Gasoline. We have. Let me make all of this nonsense. All right. Oh, getting myself situated. Getting serious now. All right. Gasoline um, should have forty-five because I have not bought gas yet. 2045. Now, this is also Monday. You're seeing this on Saturday. By then, I should have used that. And I may come in and do a, you know, finish up this video with showing how I spent it. We'll see. Because my niece and I have to go shopping again because the, the place that we were supposed to be going wasn't open. All right. Dining out. I have taken money from here. And I have five, six, seven left. 
So I have taken 23 from here and 23 went towards groceries. The reason why I took it from, I mean, I skipped something. Hold on. I, I skipped groceries. Groceries got 30, uh, four, four, 29, 24. I took $23 out to pay for the food that I purchased because I figured if I have my freezer stacked with uh, the hamburgers and the chicken, I'm less likely to go um, out for dinner. So, I have used all of the 30 from, come on, let's see, we had, first of all, we had, um, we had uh, Kroger, where I bought my lunch stuff, and that receipt total was twenty one forty five so we'll put twenty two minus twenty two nobody said anything about any two two q alrighty then that is fantastic delete minus twenty two Uh, no, that's not, yeah, that's correct. Okay. Um, left me with $8. $8. Uh, okay. Then I went to Walmart. Um, for... 29 24 Wow, why are we over there? Undo, undo, undo. Uh 30 left me with $8. Why did that go away? Did I not put it in? <laughs> Lord, try so hard when you try to film on a Monday night. All right. Then we went for 29, 24. We went to uh, Walmart. And we spent the rest of the eight there. Then we took from dining out. 21 minus 8. I know what it is. It's 12. We're going to take 21 minus 8. And that means I spent 13 at um, minus 13 at Walmart for the rest of that order for four twenty nine twenty four and this is for Walmart.
so I should have $17 left. Then I went to BJ's and got the um, breakfast, egg white breakfast things that I like, and they were $9.08, so I spent another $10 from here. I hope this is making sense because I'm exhausted and I have have no idea if I'm making any sense at all. Alright, so I spent another $10 there. So I went to Kroger for lunch items. I went to Walmart. And I got uh, bananas for breakfast, Activia for breakfast, guacamole for breakfast, and the grilled breast strips for dinners. Then I went to BJ's and got the egg bites for breakfast. And I have whole wheat toast, Gatorades, popcorn, peanut butter, grape jelly, and um, granola bars at work to, you know, eat for all of that is for breakfast, lunch, and dinners for the next two weeks. So, that leaves me with $7. Uh, haven't spent anything out of shopping. Haven't spent anything out of buffer that I'm aware of. We're going to check and make sure. Because sometimes I don't know. All right, so let's do this over. Now that we know what we're dealing with, always balance this before you start counting this. Lesson learned. <laughs> we hope. So for gas, I should have $45, $20.45. Correct. For groceries, I have zero. That is correct. For dining out, I should have seven. Five, six, seven. That is correct. For shopping, I should have 20. That is correct. For a buffer, I should have 10. And I have five, uh, six, seven. 8, 9, 10. That is correct. And my check, my cash spending register and receipts and everything and wallet is correct. That makes me happy because it stresses me out not knowing, you know, if I'm going to remember where I spent from and what I did. But this time I made a conscious effort to remember what I was doing and make a good plan. So my good plan is I got like $7 in dining out. So unless I can find a dining out meal for $5, I'm not dining out the next couple of weeks. So this is all of the change that I got from today. So I'm going to get my coin jar.
Now I gotta redo that now. All right, and our balance is fourteen dollars and twenty-three cents. Money, money, money. I love the sound of money. Got a got a good batch of coins in there. All right, so we will take this down for the evening. We will scan our receipts. Let me grab my phone. All right, so now what I want to do is I want to put these into my Fetch app. I'm just seeing if they have the incentive yet or still nobody used my, my code and signed up for fetch that, that makes me very sad why would you not want to get free gift cards just for spending the money you're already spending i don't know but i'm telling you you really should get this app all right here's that one Put in the date. Oh, no cute little minions today. All right, that's it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Also, if you haven't, please hit subscribe. I'm trying to get to 500 subscribers, and you can make that happen by hitting subscribe. I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Bye, guys. Have a great Saturday.